Monday, May 11th. I'm Kathy Wagner with Wagner Advisory Group. And no, that wasn't me really playing Beethoven Sonata number one. But if you want to hear a world class pianist play it, tune into one of the live streaming websites that we're about to share with you today because today's topic is good news you can use. So here's some really good news. Hair salons open back up. Yay, pretty soon maybe I can get my hair done. I know I'm looking a little nappy at this point. The bad news is my stylist isn't ready to see me for another month, so you're gonna have to put up with me having bad hair for at least four more videos. Anyway, moving on, there is some really good news that I wanna share with you today. So let's start with talking about what's happened in the stock market. So I don't know how much you've been paying attention. I think that all of you are paying pretty good attention to the stock market. But in this latest correction or this sell-off, the bottom was hit on March 23rd, 2020. And on that day, the Standard & Poor's 500 closed just a little bit above 2300. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed a little above 19,000. But as of Friday, May 8th, the Dow Jones was at 24,331 and the S&P was at 2929 and both of them are up between 26 and 27% off that low point that we hit on March 23rd and that really is good news for all of us as investors in stocks. Also good news on the financial front is that savings rates are at all time levels. So we're stuck at home and there's really nowhere to go to spend our money, so we're saving a lot. And the other great thing is debt is getting paid off at record numbers. So you're home, you can't go out, you're saving more, and you're paying down your credit card debt. More really good news. So what's going on out in our community? You know we've been talking about the environment a lot over the last several weeks as we've done these videos. Did you know that NASA right now is studying the air quality from space? And you can visibly see the difference from space of what we had previously seen as red zones of very poor air quality to clear blue zones. And if you do a little Google searching online, you will see that the LA smog truly has lifted. And if you live here in Florida, honestly, I have never seen more butterflies, heard more bird song, or seen bluer skies. But from a scientific perspective, Carbon emissions are down 25% in Wuhan and nitrogen oxide is down 50%. And we're learning how to have more food sustainability. None of us are wasting food anymore, are we? I know I'm sure being careful about that. So we're driving less, we're flying less. Um, factories are working at a little slower level. All of these are resulting in really great environmental improvements. And these are improvements that we can carry forward with us with some small incremental changes can make a permanent difference and that's really good news. Let's talk about food. You know a lot of us are suffering right now and don't have enough food, but there are great things going on there. You know that Tom Brady, who just joined the Tampa Bay Bucks, donated a lot of money he and his wife to sell to Feeding Tampa Bay. Also, Publix got wind of the fact that farmers were plowing over their produce because there was no market in which to sell it. And they stepped, and stepped up and started buying all that produce and donating that, and donating that as well to the local uh, food pantries. Also, a local here in Seminole was concerned about the Penrose Farms up in Waimama that provided produce to most of the local farmers markets that were held every week in the area. So he created a website called Buy Farm, um, it's called Buy Farm, food.com uh, and you can go online and order a $20 package of fresh produce to be delivered at one of the local food shelters either in Clearwater, Palm Harbor or Tampa and at the same time you can donate a $20 bundle to the pantry and isn't that a great thing to do today. What I also love that's going on is that we have a lot of families who struggle and are involved in our free or reduced lunch program in the schools but as you know schools have not been in session. So right now, curbside delivery of breakfast and lunch is being held all across this country to continue to feed all of these families in need. And programs are being established to continue to feed them throughout the summer, and they need volunteers. So if you have time on your hands, consider being a volunteer to help with either packaging up the food 
or helping with delivering the food at the curbside delivery that's going on because that's a really great news to take care of the people around us. Let's talk about sports. So I don't know about you, but the one thing I miss the most after my grandchildren is sports. And here's some great news. Major League Baseball is talking about starting up the season in July and instead of playing 160 games, they're going to play 80. You know, I love baseball, but 160 is a lot of games. 80 sounds okay to me. And how about the local catcher if you're a Rays fan? I'm a Rays fan here in Tampa Bay. So Mike Zanino, one of our newest team members and a catcher, good news for Mike. Since he hasn't been on the road traveling with the team, he got to be home to witness his 14-year-old, month-old son's first steps. How's that for some good news? I think it's great. Culturally, how about culturally? So I know we're missing going to concerts and whatever the venue or whatever the genre of music that you enjoy, I guarantee you there's a live streaming event just right for you. So there's jazz.org if you're into jazz and there's some great events going on this week. The Metropolitan Opera is live streaming live every night this week at opera. I've never attended opera in person and I'm so excited to tune into a couple of those events. There are museums around the globe that are offering free virtual tours. Amongst them are the Louvre, the Vatican Museums, the Guggenheim, the Museum of Modern Art in New York. The sky is the limit with what you can enjoy with music and in, with the arts. And if you have children at home, the New York Philharmonic has a whole bunch of awesome children's programs that you can tune into to help your kids learn about music and maybe even learn how to play an instrument while they're at home. These are great things that are happening for us, for our benefit. This is all such good news that we can use today. And then how about random acts of kindness? So much has been going on from people that are delivering meals to first responders and in the medical community, people that are sewing masks for first responders and people, people who are delivering food to those, those in self-isolation, all kinds of amazing things are going on around the globe and here at home in terms of random acts of kindness. So I would pose this question to you. What kindness might you do today and this week in your own community? I'm going to start with this. I love this. I saw this online. These are called happiness rocks. So you want to find some, this is a great activity for children, by the way. Find some smooth, flat rocks. I did these kind of quick, so I didn't put a ton of effort into my first two samples for you. But then I, everyone's out walking more than ever, and you probably have a path you walk regularly. I, my plan is today to lay some of these rocks randomly throughout the, my neighborhood on the path that I take, that I see many taking, with inspirational and happy messages. And these are happiness rocks. And I really think if you do nothing else, let's all put a happiness rock out there. Because remember, we are Americans, we are strong, and we are proud, and we're gonna get through this together. We're gonna be stronger than ever. Stay well.